वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग सो अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड इफ हैवन प्रेस आर बेल अगेन सो प्लीज फ्रेंड प्रेस इट एंड सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली गेट आर वीडियोज टू यू ओके फ्रेंड सो सो फ्रेंड टूडे द टॉपिक डेट वी आर गेट टू डिस्कस इज असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर ये फ्रेंड दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ आर ऑपरेटर सीरीज सो फ्रेंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर सो फ्रेंड एक्चुअली फ्रेंड वट इज असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर एक्चुअली फ्रेंड असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर इज यूज टू असाइन अ वैल्यू टू अ वेरिएबल ओके सो फ्रेंड एक्चुअली इट इज नोटेड बाय सिंगल इक्वल्स टू साइन ओके फ्रेंड actually friend this operator has a right to left associate it mean that friend the value is given on right hand side operator uh, 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 to the operator okay is going to assign to the variable on the left hand side of the operator okay friend so friend it's uh, in, in this way the value that which we uh, the, uh, the value of variable which we want to assign it should be declared okay it should be declared or it should be a constant okay it or should be one if it is not declared and we are trying to send the va- that value to, uh, that variable to another will in that case friend our compiler is going to give us an error that undefined symbol or symbol never found okay friend so so this is all about the operators the general format of the assignment operator is given this friend we are using a variable and then the value that we want to assign to that variable and in between that we are using the assignment operator okay this is the general format of the assignment operator okay friend simple way okay friend so uh, types of assignment operator friend so friend actually we have three types of assignment operators in chart okay first we have simple in simple friend we just simply assign the value to a variable see we are assigning a constant value to a variable okay the second one we have a chain assignment in chain assignment friend we friend in chain assignment friend we assign a value let's suppose we have four variable okay friend and we assign a value uh, we want to assign a value uh, same value to all variable in the end uh, so we can assign assignment easily to all variable in the ch- by the using the concept of the chain assignment okay friend c it's so, uh, here friend we are assigning value 20 to d first and then friend as we know it works from right to left okay so how it is actually working we are assigning value 20 to d okay now the value of d is going to send to c now the value of going value of c is going to send to b now the value of b is going to assign finally to a okay so in this way we are assign uh, our java compiler is assigning a value to this uh, uh, variables okay friend so friend change about chain seven there is one rule okay that we have to always follow we in the previous example you can see before performing a chain except uh, chain uh, assignment we declared all the variables okay friend but friend if we 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 try to assign a variable value at the time of declaration in the form of chain expand then it is not a valid statement see we cannot perform chain assignment directly at the time of declaration see friend, here i am trying to declare a variable but when i mean while i am also assigning values to these variable that way in this case except i am trying to assign a value 20 to d but friend here it is not declared yet okay and i am trying to use it if the variable is not declared and i am trying to use it in that case my compiler will say the symbol not found variable not found okay and it will be a compiled error so when my compiler is going to throw an error for three variable d c b okay c friend my compiler is going to say cannot find symbol variable a b c d okay so this is the rule that friend we have to follow always right? always have to remember okay friend so the third type of uh, assignment operator we have compound assignment okay so friend compound assignment sometimes when we mix up, up uh, assignment operator with some other operator okay like i i mix plus with equals to okay i mix uh, assignment with the multiple evocation okay so such kind of operator is known as friend compound assignment operator okay see friend here i have 50 and i want i am uh, here mixing my addition with equals to sign friend actually friend this is this kind of statement is known as a short hand statement okay so friend here i am uh, adding a 20 to a and again then assigning to a okay friend so the final answer of a will be 70 okay friend so friend actually one key point regarding the amount of assignment always friend uh, 
before this friend what are the various operators that comes in uh, uh, that we can perform in the compound or assignment first is arithmetic operators all arithmetic operators we can use with the assignment operator all bitwise operator we can use with the assignment operator the all shaped operator we can also use with the assignment operator and these are the operators we can use with the assignment operator okay and last friend that is a very important point that i have to tell you in the case of compound assignment operator friend internal type casting will be performed automatically by the i will tell you uh, later but for, let's solve the first example first okay S simple example see friend i i have made a program in which i divided uh, in which i make a four functions okay four function one is for simple assignment another is for chain assignment and another is for compound assignment okay friend and one is our we have a main function okay here friend i will call one by one function to show you the functionality of each uh, each kind of assignment function variable okay friend see let's compile the see friend sorry I don't have you for Java. See, friend, we are getting 30. Simply here, friend, uh, actually, simple assignment. Actually, I haven't saved it yet, I think. Yeah, that's it, right? Actually, we haven't saved it. That's why we got such kind of answer. See friend, we are getting the C here. I am simply assigning value 10 to A, okay, and I am printing to A. This is a simple assignment, okay. See learning so mechanic. Here I am printing in the main for method learning so and then I am calling my function simple assignment. Now my call transfer to this function. Here I am assigning value A 10 to A, and then here I was printing that value, okay. So I got a 10. Okay, this is simple assignment, okay. Friend? Now friend, let's see the chain assignment. Friend, let's make it uncomment and let's save a program and let's run the program once again let's compile sorry let's compile it first let's compile it well now let's run in this program okay see friend we are going to get 10 and 10 and 20 so how actually i, have, I am assigned let's see friend actually friend i i take four variables i take four variables i declared the first as i told you we need to declare the first okay i declared the first and then i perform a uh, chain assignment see i am assi i assign a value 10 to d the value of d is going to sign c then value c is going to sign b and the value of b is going to sign a okay these are the uh, this is the way in which i assign the value okay see friend and again then i i am printing the value a b c and d okay i am printing that value okay friend as i said you if i will use i i will assign a value at the time of declaration in that case i will get an error c here i have variable a a b b a b a c a d friend here i am declaring it and the meanwhile i am also trying to assign a value in that case friend, we will get a compiled error because i said you we cannot here friend we are trying to assign a value to that variable which is not declared yet that's why we will get a compiled temper okay friend we can also do chain experiment one more way the way is c first declare all the theme variables okay and that for which we are getting error while declaring uh, while uh, declaring here okay first declare all these variable and then assign value 20 to ad and now it is declared already so now it is not going to generate error. it is going to accept the value 20 and now we are assigning ad to ac here also ac is declared first so not going through error. it is going to accept the value this is also assigned to ab which is also valid ab is also assigned to a or no a we are doing here so in this way friend we can assign the yeah assign the r assign r yeah friend uh come uh, comp uh, chain assignment okay friend this is the way in which you can send the chain assignment okay friend so please key remember this point okay so the last thing that friend we have a compound assignment friend so one thing that i have to tell you about compound assignment friend uh one thing that i have to tell you about compound assignment friend see in the case of compound assignment operator, right, internal type casting will be performed automatically by the compiler. So, what is the meaning of internal? See, friend, let's suppose I have a short variable s, okay, and I want to s plus is equal to s. Friend, this statement is equal to s short is equal to short plus one. As we know, friend, whenever we perform arithmetic operation between two any variable, in that case, friend, our compiler converts, promotes our expression to the 
larger value of larger data type okay friends so see here one is integral type okay so our r r r uh, expression is going to convert it into here now friend i want to assign this integer value to short so i need to type cast it okay so if i am i am doing this thing manually so i need to type cast it okay but if i use the compound op assignment operator in that case friend, our compiler will do automatically so when i explained all this thing uh, about the typecasting in my video of typecasting so if you don't know about it so please pause the video and i also uh, explain this rule about of arithmetic operators when we uh, use arithmetic operator between two uh, operators in that case our compiler convert or promote our expression to the highest of data type okay so uh, if you uh, don't know about it so watch the video of arithmetic operators so actually i am why i am working on individual uh, topics so you can clear about all individual rules of the particular concepts okay so that's why friend i am uh, working on individual videos of the uh, of, of the java okay that's why friend it's all for you okay so this is the case that you have to remember so let's let me show you one, this thing see friend see here if I, here a is a plus equal 20 okay if i'm going to let's say wait let's say first see here i'm assigning a is equal 10 and 10 is equal 20 okay but see if i i will okay let's make a comment first first okay see friend here i am a 10 and and then i am using compound operator here i will get friend but first i will get i will get friend 30 see i will get 30 see i am getting 30 okay friend this is here friend my compiler is not throwing an error my compiler is doing type casting by itself okay implicitly doing a type casting okay, friend but friend here as let's suppose i have replied will be is equal 10 and i want to i want to i want to do the same operation okay b is equal to b plus one or b is equal to 20 let's see i want to do this thing okay friend now friend if i compile my program now now friend my compiler will throw an error that incompatible type i can lossy conversion from int to byte actually friend after solving this equation the result is in which kind integer type. as i told you that when we have perform arithmetic operation between any two operators in that case our compiler okay not uh, our compiler promote our expression to the highest level okay so we have integer here okay so our compiler give us what the result is integer kind and i try to assign the integer value to so integer value to byte as we know when we try to assign uh, get a bigger value to smaller value this kind of concept is known as explicit concept explicit explicit type cast as i explained you in the explicit video if you don't know about it so please go our that video okay so uh, as i compile uh, compiler uh, don't allow to do this okay if we want to do then we need to do in explicit type casting how we do this we we do this by in this way okay so friend that's why so here you can see we need to do by ourselves okay so programmer have to take care of this thing but when we use the shorthand operator in that case friend there is no need to take care of this see now we are getting a right answer okay friend so that is the case of the assignment operator and all about the compound assignment operator friends so please keep it remember okay so last operator that we have we are going to discuss a new operator so friend actually new operator is used to create an object okay friend so how to use this c name of the of the class then object name then equals to new and the name of the constructor okay friend so actually new operator keyword is used to allocate this space for them if you want to create an object then we need to allocate space to it then how do we uh, how we can allocate space to it dynamically we can use we can allocate a space by using the new operator okay friend in java in java friend we can allocate space by using the new operator but we cannot deallocate space by using the concept of de delete operator as in c++ okay so for this we have a district we have a garbage collector okay which 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 is responsible for the destruction of the useless object okay friend so keep it in mind that we don't have a delete operator like in c++ okay
this is all about new operator and last but we have friend in java uh, is uh, this bracket operator actually friend it is used to uh, create any array if i want to create any then i have to use this operator it is also part of operator friend okay the how to use the data type of the array array name or it it can be we can declare an array right uh, we can by uh, writing first bracket and then name okay both are ways are uh, right okay valid okay and then after the brackets and then is equal to new and then the data type and then brackets okay this is the way we use that equal to operators okay so friend we covered all the operators in java okay i hope you like our videos okay thank you friend bye bye